Hi, I'm Dan Galpin. Welcome back to The Game Show. What if you could do something to improve the rendering performance and load times of your game while reducing its in-memory size and battery usage, all with the same or better visual quality, while potentially making it download faster and take up less on-device storage? As of today, you can use Google Play Asset Delivery to support multiple texture compression formats in your game, unlocking these benefits by allowing you to utilize the best texture compression format the device can support without having to deliver multiple copies of each texture. Texture compression is a form of lossy image compression that allows the GPU to render directly from the compressed texture with dedicated hardware, reducing the amount of texture memory and memory bandwidth required. The top compression formats supported by Android devices are ETC1, ETC2, and ASTC. ETC1 is supported on practically all devices. It doesn't have built-in transparency, so games have to use a second texture for alpha. ETC2 is required as part of the GLES 3.0 spec. It supports transparency and improves quality compared to ETC1. ASTC is required for devices that support the Vulkan Graphics API. It is now available in over 75% of active Android devices and an even higher percentage of the devices that play rich graphical games. ASTC is a game changer, pun intended, because it's so flexible. It supports various block sizes with different associated compression ratios, from 4x to 36x compression on RGBA 2D textures. It also supports many different kinds of textures, and the combination of formats and quality levels allows for just about any texture in your game to benefit from compression. In conclusion, ASTC gives you many new tools to tune the size, image quality, and performance of your game. By supporting multiple texture compression formats with Play Asset Delivery, you can still target the widest range of Android devices while making sure your game makes efficient use of the available hardware without increasing your download or installed size. Once you've implemented Play Asset Delivery, adding texture compression format targeting is an incremental step. You need to make sure that you have a directory within your asset packs that holds textures. This will be used for your default textures, probably in ETC1 or ETC2 format. Then you create additional texture directories that have a suffix matching the additional formats you wish to support. You then update your app build.gradle file to enable texture splits in asset packs. Google Play will strip off the texture suffixes, so your game reads its assets from the default directory, regardless of what textures are delivered to the device. Also, the Play Asset Delivery plugin for Unity is ready to help you create app bundles with texture-targeted modules. We're committed to helping you serve your entire game through play with customized dynamic delivery and features such as texture compression format targeting. Check out the links in the description for more on how to take advantage of play asset delivery with texture compression format targeting in your game, along with how to stay up to date by signing up for the game's quarterly newsletter. As always, thanks for your support in continuing to build incredible games. I'm Dan Galpin for The Game Show. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe.